Hello, I'm Ariel, just like the Little Mermaid, and I'm a curatorial programs assistant here at the Franklin Institute. And in honor of the 50th anniversary of the moon landing, I want to talk about a spacesuit from our collections. This is an A7L test suit, so it did not go into space. Just wanted to get that out of the way. After the Apollo 1 incident, NASA realized they needed to improve spacesuits for the safety of their astronauts in extreme temperatures. Therefore, as good scientists, they did a lot of testing. They decided to use Teflon coated fiberglass that would be inside of the suit to help protect the astronaut and temperatures up to 650 degrees Fahrenheit and it would not degrade under harmful UV rays. Another problem astronauts would face in space are micrometeoroids. Now, on Earth, we don't have to worry about this. Our ash atmosphere is going to incinerate them. Not a problem. But in space, this is a serious problem. Therefore, there are 11 layers in Apollo spacesuits to protect astronauts because that micrometeoroid will hit them. It's going to separate those particles that they will decelerate to protect the astronaut. Today, NASA uses Kevlar, which is also used in bulletproof vests. Another problem NASA had was lunar dust. Prior missions from them, such as Mercury and Gemini, they did not land on the moon. So now they have to protect astronauts from lunar dust and to make sure their shoes can handle rough terrain, as well as moving far enough away from your vehicle in landing to explore and bring back different scientific data. The testing of these spacesuits helped protect our astronauts in Apollo 11.